Our first home looks like a bubble that's just floated down onto the grounds of an estate near Paris, France. This grand chateau is Malmaison, the house Napoleon's wife Josephine used when she wanted to get away from the commotion of the capital. And deep in the woods on the Malmaison estate is another home where you can still get away from modern city life and from any conventional ideas about living. This is the Bubble House, the brainchild of architect Pierre-Stéphane Dumont. We're going into the structure, which is almost completely without a frame. Follow me. So here we are in the entrance compartment. You come in through this door, which closes automatically. The Bubble House is just that, a bubble made of waterproof and fireproof PVC. It has two main compartments, a living room and a bedroom, both 13 feet across, linked by an entrance hall. Another smaller bubble adjacent to the bedroom contains a bathroom. All that keeps it up is air pressure, which might be invisible, but is clearly felt. We're going to go in here, to the living room. What you notice straight away is that there's a very special atmosphere. So you have a structure without a framework that's held up simply by the pressure. The air pressure is a bit higher inside the bubble than it is outside. You can just about feel it in your ears. It's as though you're living in a permanent anticyclone. An anticyclone is an area of high air pressure, and that's the feeling you get inside the bubble's spherical, pressurized space. It makes the world outside seem strangely far away, and Pierre Stéphane believes that living here is good for your health. What's interesting is that, because of the unique architecture of the sphere, noise from outside is reflected back out, but sounds from inside get centered inside. So you don't have to speak anywhere near as loud as you usually do. This, as well as the acoustic and the atmospheric pressure, means that if you measured your heartbeat, you'd notice that very quickly it begins to slow down. The rooms in the bubble house are designed to make the most of the house's private and picturesque location. So we're just going into the bedroom compartment. In here, half the sphere is transparent and the other half is translucent and white. It highlights the round architecture and gives you a 240-degree panorama. A tube leads from the bubble house to a small air blower which keeps it inflated. An air filter keeps out mosquitoes, pollen and pollution. You have this continuous air current which allows three things. It holds the structure up. It keeps the air moving, and it helps avoid condensation and humidity. The spheres are also heated by a geothermal system that's hidden under the floor. With heating and clean air, the bubble house is certainly comfortable and has plenty of amenities. I'm now opening up the sphere that acts as a little bathroom. You'll find everything you need. A dry toilet, in the corner is a basin and a real shower. So you have everything for a bathroom, just four feet in diameter, very nice and cozy. The flexible PVC fabric used in the bubble house is double layered and UV protected. It's blown up to create a house with nearly 450 square feet of living space. And even though it has almost no framework, the bubble house is robust. You have an impression of fragility, but in fact the structure has quite rigid mechanical properties. You can see it for yourself. The spherical architecture also serves to stabilize the structure. The bubble house doesn't vibrate even in high winds. Asleep on the bed, you could be lying under the trees, and yet you'd be as cozy as your next door neighbors in the chateau.